The untold story of a Pakistani serial killer who wanted 100 mothers to cry. I am Javed Iqbal, killer of 100 children, I hate this world, I am not ashamed of my action, and I am ready to die. I have no regrets. I killed 100 children. These are the words of this century's most brutal person. When people become angry or frustrated they need something to express their emotions. When people didn't find any to express their emotions, then they choose the wrong way. Same thing happened with Mr. Javid Iqbal, who killed hundred innocent children to express his anger to the society and police. Javed Iqbal Mughal was a serial killer from Lahore, Punjab, Pakistan. He claimed he raped and killed hundred boys. Mr. Javid Iqbal Mughal was born in 1956. Javed Iqbal was the sixth child, fourth son, of Muhammad Ali Mughal, a well-off trader. He did his matriculation from Islamia High School. He started his own business in 1978. Mr. Iqbal set up a steel recasting business in one of their houses and lived there for years along with boys. When Mr. Iqbal family come to know about his bad habits regarding boy, they tried their best to speak against the boys accompanying boys, but their efforts were useless. In late 90s first police complaint was filled against Mr. Iqbal for sodomizing a young boy in Lahore. In this case his family members paid the cost of his bad habits for a week. When police feel it is difficult to arrest Mr. Iqbal, the police arrested one of his boys. Soon after the arrest of his boy Mr. Iqbal surrendered to secure release of the boy. Due to these bad habits his family forced him for marriage, but he refused all the time, for several years. One day he stunned everybody by declaring that he had selected a bride for himself. She was the elder sister of one of his boys. The purpose was to stop the boy from deserting him. This marriage lasted for a couple of months. The evil genius again was on his evil way. Once he assaulted the son of a respectable family of the area. The matter was taken up by the elders of the area. He confessed to his crime. He signed a stamp paper, giving an undertaking that he would not do it again. The area elder given punishment, and asked him to visit it hundred shops in the main market to tender apology. The next time he was caught, he was thrashed and ejected from the area. Mr. Javid Iqbal was an evil genius. He was always thinking to trap the young boys for his lust and revenge. Apart from his family business, everything Javed Iqbal did was aimed at luring boys. He opened a video games shop, the first of its kind, and would offer tokens to boys at reduced rates and in some cases free of cost. He would throw a hundred rupee note on the floor and watch the boy who would pick it up. Then he would announce that his money had been stolen and he had to search everybody. The thief would be caught and taken to an adjacent room where he would be sodomized. When people stopped their children from visiting the shop, Iqbal set up a fish aquarium and later a gym, again to attract boys. He also set up an air-conditioned school, but it failed as nobody was willing to send children. He also opened a fair price shop where items of daily use were sold at a price lower than the market value. That too lasted for a few weeks. Javed Iqbal also invested in a monthly magazine, Anti-Corruption Crime, where he published the heroics of police officers and established good contacts in the department. He interviewed at least two dozen police officers, including SSPs and DIGs. Javi Iqbal lied the poor urchin street boys, who would run away from their families. He would take these little boys to his home in Lahore, then strangle them to death. He would then dismember their bodies, cutting them in pieces, and dissolve the remains in hydrochloric acid. In December 1999, the horror of Iqbal's killings emerged, when he wrote an anonymous letter to police, claiming he had been killing runaway children, 
and dissolving them in acid for months in his home, in a slum near the Ravi Road in Lahore. He also had confessed to his crimes through a letter, sending it to a local newspaper. This led to his arrest. The evil genius tried to justify his crimes that he has done it in revenge as, when Jave Dikbal was in his early twenties, he was arrested on the charges of rape. According to him, he was not associated with any of the charges, that he was innocent and forcefully arrested. His mother, whom he loved very much, did everything possible to get him out of the jail but was unsuccessful. By the time he was released from jail, his mother had died. He had the most sinister urge for revenge and ended up kidnapping, molesting, and killing hundred kids. He said he wanted all those mothers to feel what his mother had gone through. On 16th March 2000, Javed Iqbal found guilty of hundred murders of innocent children, and sentenced to death. The sentence was that he should be strangled hundred times. His body should be cut into hundred pieces and put in acid, as he did with his victims. However, it was decided the monster Javid would be hanged till death, along with his accomplice Sajid Ahmed. But it was not to be. However in mysterious circumstances, Iqbal and one of his two accomplices killed themselves by taking poison at Kotlak Pate jail a year after. Thus, ended the most evil story in Pakistan's history. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more thrilling stories from across the globe. Thank you for watching this video.